Hey guys, welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. I am Jess and I have a cool little gadget review for you today. I'm going to be showing you the uh, Electromagnetic Field Reader by uh, Ken Mike. They did send this to me at no charge in order to try out, but I'm pretty excited because we just moved into our new house and I've never used one of these before. So um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the features of this cute little unit and then show you how it works in our house. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Uh, the cool thing about this little gadget is that it measures both electric fields and magnetic radiation. So uh, it's got a dual screen display. It shows you both readings at the same time. And uh, it'll also show you the um, temperature and it'll do a continuous sensing as well. So um, it'll turn off after five minutes of not using it, but you can also keep it on in case you wanna just be like walking around with it. Uh, in your pocket or something and it'll just beep and tell you when you've hit something. So it already comes programmed with thresholds um, to alert you above certain safety levels, which would be 40 volts per meter for electric fields and 0.4 micro Tesla for electromagnetic radiation. So let's get into how the unit actually works. A um, couple other things. It comes with a cool little bag to protect the LCD screen. Uh, and a recharging cable since it is a rechargeable unit. Um, all right, so first we are going to turn it on by just hitting the power button. You can see the LED screen already pops up and is reading stuff. On the top of the display, we have the E field uh, measurement in volts per meter. And on the bottom, we have the H field, which is the magnetic field. Uh, currently it is set to milligauss. You can hit the unit button quickly and it changes that to micro Tesla. Uh, in the center of the display, you can see temperature and we can simply hold the unit button to switch it to Celsius. So I'm gonna turn that back to temperature. Uh, on this side, our button will display either the peak or the average reading up top. So that would be peak, that would be average. And then this is the button you also use to turn on and off the audio alert. Uh, so if you hold it down, you can see that that audio alert speaker icon just went away. And if we hold it back on, it came back on. So now it's going to give us an alert when we go past those preset thresholds. We also have a battery indicator. Um, and then the power button is also a hold. So if we're looking to uh, walk around and get a reading, and then we want to hold it, uh, it will stay at that level. You can see that it read and it says hold here uh, at the top. And then in order to get rid of that and continue reading, we just push hold again and it will continue reading. So let's see how it works. What? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is why we're not supposed to be sleeping near outlets. You can see that's going pretty crazy and let's test out that hold function. So I can bring it over here and it's holding that. So I, if I wanna walk away and write this value down or something, we can do that. Um, and then in order to reset it, we just hit hold again and it comes back. So check my laptop. Yep, all right, let's go see what else we've got. Let's check my thermostat. Oh, thermostat's pretty safe. Not the light switch though. Not too bad, not as bad as the outlet. Let's see what this outlet does. Two hundred. So I'm guessing that this outlet is worse because number one, it's a GFI outlet. And number two, I actually have something plugged in and it's powering right now. So it's putting out quite a bit of electronic field reading, volts per meter. Let's check the TV. Yeah. Getting a good reading there on the TV. How about my temperature sensor here? Probably too close to the TV to really get a separate reading. So yeah, really cool little device. Um, I like that you can read both the electric field radiation, or sorry, the electric field volts per meter as well as the uh, electric magnetic radiation all in one screen. It's a really re feature rich device. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it, super user friendly. I literally took it out of the box this morning and read the little 
user pamphlet um, in like five minutes and I was using it. So definitely a cool little gadget. I'll be uh, using this to check things around the house. Um, and I guess that's why they say not to charge your phones right next to your head at night, right? <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in an EMF reader, definitely check this one out by Ken Mike. Uh, I will be putting the description or the link to this product in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys.